Number 32. What frequency is received by a mouse just before being dispatched by a hawk flying at it at 25 meters per second and emitting a screech of frequency 3500 hertz? All right. So um, check out number 30 first, right? I went through a full detailed discussion about, you know, how to think about Doppler effect problems and what formulas to use. So I'm going to shorthand it here, but please make sure to check out number 30. Um, so we have two formulas, right? We have SHMO, S-S-M-O, and we have SOMS, S-O-M-S, okay? SMO, S-S-M-O, stands for Stationary Source Moving Observer, all right? And we have then SOMS, Stationary Observer Moving Source. So in this problem, the observer, the mouse, right, because we're trying to find out what frequency the mouse experiences, the mouse is the observer and he's or she is stationary. And the source is moving. The hawk is the one that's moving at a, at a velocity and it's emitting the frequency, all right? So we're going to use the SOMS equation. And the way to remember that is SOMS and the bomb bombs. So the SOMS equation has the sign on the bottom, okay? So now we have to um, do the one where the, uh, we have to, right, we have two signs in there. So we have the frequency of the observer is going to be equal to the frequency of the source multiplied by the velocity of the sound divided by the velocity of the sound uh, plus or minus the velocity of the source. Now one of these is the one that we need, okay? So anytime, so whenever you have a, um, a source moving toward the object, Okay, it's always going to be the minus value. Why? Because this denominator then decreases, that then increases the overall fraction, and that will increase at the frequency uh, the frequency of sound the observer is experiencing. And you know as sources move towards you, like police cars or ambulances, their, uh, their frequency goes up, the pitch you hear is higher. As opposed to when they move away, it gets lower, and therefore that would be a plus in there. All right, So you know it's going to be a minus. Uh, again, in, 30, in number 30, I talked about that a little more in detail. So now all we need to do is really just plug in. So the frequency of the observer is going to be equal to the frequency of the source, <clears throat> 3,500 hertz in this case. The velocity of sound they told us to take to be 331, divided then by uh, the velocity of the sound, so 331, minus then the velocity of the hawk. Thank goodness they gave it to us in meters per second. So all we need to do is really just plug in, right? should be fairly easy. So this is 3,500 multiplied by 331, divided by then, parentheses, 331, minus 25, close those parentheses, and we have a slightly higher, so this is about 3.79, I guess, 3.79 times 10 to the uh, third hertz. And that's that, all right? Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful. Please, if it was, help us out. Subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends, and we'll see you soon. Take care.